my name is Michael McKenzie. I'm a graduate electrical engineer and I've been with DPS Group now for two years. As of my role as an electrical engineer, I mainly produce electrical drawings on e-plan, whether that be for control panel build or insulation purposes. I also produce cable calculations just to verify cables on site to make sure they're legally okay. So Michael, you mentioned e-plan there. Uh, that's what we're here to talk about today because you've just done some training uh, in e-plan. Can you tell me what e-plan is and what the training involved? Just an overview of it, please. I think from a, a basic point of view, the easiest way to explain e-plan is it's an electrical CAD software. So it's really similar to AutoCAD yet it's more electrical based, whether that be your symbols, components. So it makes it a lot easier to draw electrical schematics as it, the logic behind the connections it follows them through pages, whereas on AutoCAD it's just lines. Obviously you've done this training against the, the backdrop of COVID-19. How, how challenging was that? Obviously, you, you're, you're in a different sort of headspace at this moment in time. Was there any particular difficult points or was the training different in any way? What was your experience like of the training? Yeah, I think I'm lucky because I, because I had to do parts one and parts two. I actually covered parts one just before lockdown. So it was roughly, I think it was the first week in March. So this was, it was only just kind of hitting the UK. So I managed to get the point of view of doing the part one down in Rotherham and then doing part two at home because you weren't, couldn't travel because you're locked in your house. So I got the, from one extreme to the other. I think they were both very different because when you were down in Rotherham, you were getting you know one-to-one -one hands on with a, a lecturer. Whereas when doing part two at home, it was just like video calls, just listening to what they're saying. So if you had a problem, they could just come over to your computer and fix it. And I think from that point of view, it was, bit challenging but I feel like ePlan handled that part very well and that if you had any issues they were just kind of team viewing into your PC to have a look what you're doing and talk you through the different things to change things like that. Obviously DPS group putting you through the ePlan training what would you say the the benefits are to you um, but also to to the business you have in this training? I think the benefits are that I, I, because I'd been using ePlan previously to go on this training, it wasn't as if it was completely new to me, but even going on that training, I've managed to speed up some of the things I do on ePlan, just by finding out better ways to do things and the right way to do things instead of just doing it the way I've figured out myself. So I think I'm a lot more efficient now and can get jobs done quicker, which in turn should just save money in the future, really. Obviously, that's excellent for yourself and DPS group. Do you think that that has a knock-on effect for the client on the other end? I think it should do, yeah, because if you're producing drawings quicker instead of maybe taking two days now, it might take one. I think in the long term, that would it would save time and you might gain more clients because of how quickly they can receive documentation, etc. How important is it to you as an engineer to have that training? Uh, I think it's, it's very important now because I've, I've got a formal qualification on how to use the software. It's not just, you know, I can't just make it up that I've used it before. I've got something that can prove that there. I think moving forward, it will definitely help because it's allowing me to move on to the ECE course, which is the certification course for ePlan. I think the long-term plan is to also eventually not be a graduate, but then just take on more responsibilities, whether it be behind electrical design processes, things like that, using the knowledge that they've learned from the plan training to kind of change the way that we do things. DPS Group are obviously putting you through the training mm -hmm. and you have these longer term ambitions. What do you think the, the culture is like at DPS Group in terms of developing someone like yourself? I think even, even from my point of view, at the very, very start of my career, they're always looking for ways to push you towards greater things and they want you to achieve more. They don't want you just being stuck on, like say down here, they want you to try and get to here. So.